Eagles at the Giants. Boy, not that long ago, these two Giants games still to come for the Eagles look like real problems. Lately, though, Giants fading, Eagles soaring, Eagles seven-point favorites at MetLife Stadium with an over-under of 44 and a half. The Giants, 9-3 and three against the spread this year, tied with the Bengals for best in the NFL. Do they cover? Do they win when their arch rivals come to town? I, I don't think either one. I, I don't look at a cover or a win. I, I just think the Eagles are just too much. I don't think it's a good matchup for the Giants. You know, and, and then the way the Giants like to play, uh, that's just scary too. One, I mean, the Eagles, we know the run game and all of that. The Giants aren't always great at stopping the run. They let up way too many big plays for the amount of big people they have, but they're trying to create chaos and do some things to help out for their lack of talent, and that caused them to get burned. And that's just – here it's just, yeah, they're, they're going to have to do stuff that's – you know, risky and take chances if they want to win the football game. And this is just a team that's got answers and everything for it, let alone the players. They're going to be able to run. And then the Giants like to play man-to-man as it is already. You don't want to play man-to-man against this crew, but I don't think they have a choice. You know, And then you flip it around the other side. It's just I don't think there's enough for the Giants to defend. I, I, I don't believe that the Giants can sit here and run the ball you know, at a big-time successful rate like we've seen them in most games they've won. I, I, I don't see that. I mean, Daniel Jones and Saquon, they might rip off one run, two runs here and there, but I don't think it's going to be like, oh, we come away from the day and go, Saquon ran for 90 and Daniel Jones ran for 70 as well. I don't see that happening. Uh, this Eagles defense is, is playing some good ball right now, and they've settled down in that run defense department. 31-20 Eagles. Yeah, look – The Eagles are developing that vibe of team of destiny. Now, we've seen destiny get dashed in the past, but that late season, they slip into a zone where they just show up and kick your ass, and then they get ready again, and they show up and kick your ass, and that's how they've been. What they did to the Titans last week, that's what convinced me. They are in full-blown show up and kick your ass mode. They went through a stretch where they were a little wobbly. They still found a way to win the games. But now it's December, and they figured out how to, one more time, show up and kick your ass. And I think that's what they're going to do to the Giants. I've got 34-17. to The Giants are kind of like the Vikings were, but the Giants had the chariot turn into a pumpkin several weeks ago. Well, they don't have – yeah. How are they winning games? How are they winning games? How are they winning games? Same thing as the Vikings. Right, right. It's gotten to a point where they they just – they don't have the talent. That's it, Mike. That's right, right. Like You you know, you you guys, at least the Vikings, got those guys you can depend on in big moments, right? It's like, oh, all right, well, damn, everybody's covered, but here's Justin Jefferson. Let's just throw it up. Thielen, Cook, you guys got some individual – Players, even defensively, even though the defense isn't great, we see, you know, Daniil Hunter, Zadaria Smith, Patrick Peterson, Harrison Smith. Uh, every week we go, oh, one of those guys makes kind of an awesome play during the game. So that is, you, I think you're spot on, and, and that's the difference of the football team. But, yeah, I, it's, I think really the reality of the Giants of what we kind of, you know, it's already been a win year for the Giants. They won. It's, I don't give a shit what happens here on out. Of course, I want them to go to the playoffs, and I'm rooting for them. I'm a Giants fan. But, like, this has already greatly exceeded my expectations. Uh, you know, Giants fans before the years were all just going, man, if we could just be, you know, in the race in November, that will be great. Well, we're in it. But, you know, now we're going to play some real teams down the, you know, down the home stretch here. And, and I don't think we're, you know, in that caliber or in that class of team right now. And it is weird that the commanders are home resting and watching while they get ready for the rematch next week. Yeah, it's funny. The Giants, meanwhile, have to play the Eagles, which will make it even harder for the Giants to win that game at uh, FedEx Field next weekend. All right. Thanks for watching, homies. Hit subscribe to see all my unbuttoned videos. You get to see me, Ahmed Farid, all the big player breakdowns, game breakdowns, player interviews, and my film analysis. So please subscribe. Chris Sims Unbuttoned. Peace out.